Hey everybody, welcome to the Andika Bulletin for Thursday, 10th of November, 2022. So, the biggest impact from the US midterms, arguably, is the surge in rate cut expectations in the last 24 hours, as gridlock in Washington means a considerably smaller chance of any fiscal response to the recession that the Fed has foisted on everyone in America, leaving the Fed itself all alone to handle the slump in the US economy. The US midterms, as far as we know, they went from uh, a big red wave to a, a red ripple. Uh, the Senate's too close to call, and it looks like though the Republicans will have a slight majority in the Congress. So if that happens, then they will be able to have some degree of control there. And, uh, and I guess, see the markets think, wow, okay, that's a bit of gridlock. We like gridlock. But the real action last night was all in crypto. And as headlines about Binance uh, are pulling out of a uh, an FDX uh, rescue deal, FDX is another crypto exchange provider who have their own um, token, uh, tanked literally everything in the space. It was just completely a bloodbath. Uh, the FDX token, um, for those that know about it, they're trading down near their or, uh, sorry, April 2020 lows. Um, so they're in a real spot of bother. So on the crypto side of things, we can see here that uh, Bitcoin created back below US $17,000 for the first time since um, November 2020. And uh, there is a report from the Wall Street Journal that uh, Binance has in fact rejected the deal with FTX and then Bitcoin um, tumbled even further. Uh, at the time of putting the video together, it was just over 16,000 US dollars a coin. So that's um, a, a bit of a smackdown there. Uh, now, as Bitcoin you know, lurched lower, so did stocks. They were all monkey hammered um, with the NASDAQ down uh, roughly 2.5%. Uh, the S&P 500 down 2% and the Dow was down 1.95%. That's leading... Um, our market today to possibly open uh, lower by about 48 points. So a bit of red everywhere. It's not going to be um, a nice Thursday. And and all the uh, Bitcoin proxy stocks, they're all club like baby seals as well. Uh, take, for example, you know, Tesla, they went down. Um, Coinbase, they went down, et cetera, et cetera. So it's been a real bit of a bloodbath and all that sort of stuff. Uh, here's an interesting chart here. It just shows the correlation between Bitcoin and big tech stocks is back near record highs after had, it had faded for a while. So that linkage is just coming back in. Um, it's always been basically taken by those in, in the game that, you know, Bitcoin's a very, very good proxy for the tech sector. So uh, whilst it had disconnected for a while, they're back together now. And just on some other technicals, the S&P broke its 50-day moving average. Not the worst thing in the world, but, um, you know, it's trading below its 50. Uh, treasuries were sort of mixed because um, the paralysis that will probably happen in um, the Congress, or not the Congress, you know, the, you know, with the president still being there, Democrats probably still retaining the Senate, but the uh, House being controlled by the Republicans means a bit of paralysis. Uh, and that just uh, lowered the um, the end of some of the interest rates. So that's interesting. And uh, the big thing, of course, will be um, the CPI day, which is tomorrow in America. So the CPI uh, last year came in at 8.2%. Uh, and I've just got some uh, scenarios I'll just quickly read out here. This is from um, JP Morgan, who come out and basically suggested that if the CPI comes out at 8.4% or higher, they put that at a probability of just 5%. They're talking an S&P 500 plunge of between 45 and 6%, so that'd be uh, substantial. If it comes in between 8.1% and 8.3%, uh, they assign a 30% probability to that. They're suggesting the S&P would drop between 2 and 3%. If it comes in between 7.9 and 8%, they put that at a 40% pr uh, probability. They reckon there could be a little rise in the market between 1 and 1.5%. 7.7 and uh, 7.9, 7 7 uh, they assign a probability of 20% to that. They're talking a good rally there if that were to happen between 25 and 3.5%. And if it came in at 76 or lower, 
uh, which I doubt. Uh, and they've only assigned a probability of about 5%. Yeah, they're talking a, a really big rally, anything between 5 and 6%. So that's just the spread. That's the thing to look out for tomorrow because that's what they're all going to be focusing on. And um, that's pretty much it for Thursday. Not much more really to um, you know report. Uh, in the end, the, the talk of a big, you know, red wave was just, again, like I said, a red ripple. And if anything, the red wave was through the crypto markets. So on that really happy note, happy Thursday, take it easy, and we'll talk tomorrow.